What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So props to former Lakers guard Byron Scott for putting this out there. Of course, Byron Scott played in the 1980s. I believe he won three NBA championships with the Lakers back in 85, 87, and 88. He was essentially the replacement for Norm Nixon in the lineup. So... Um, this is what he had to say. There's a lot of people who like to say that Larry Bird, because of the style of the game today, the speed of the game, and uh, the athleticism of today, he would struggle. Okay? He would struggle in today's league. And I've thought that that was bullshit. I thought that, if anything, he would actually be better today than in his era because of the way the game is played. And this is what Byron Scott had to say, all right? Byron Scott said in a, on a podcast, quote, well, actually, before I get into that, Robert Ory was interviewing him, all right? So this is what Robert Ory had to say. Quote, <clears throat> I look at guys in this era now, and you say, okay, you look at Bird and say, well, I could have stopped him because, you know, he's slow. Someone like Luca now, you watch Luca. Luca is so freaking slow. And you're like, why can't they stop that? But when you're crafty and you know how to play, that's all you need. And that's the thing. Luca is crafty. He comes at you with different angles. You don't know exactly how he's going to attack you, per se, what angles he's coming out at, coming at you. And when you have that in your repertoire, plus you're a great passer, uh, plus you got an outside shot like Luca has, plus the size, it makes him an unstoppable force, right? But he is very slow. Um, <clears throat> I watched him on defense last year in his past playoffs. I was looking at his legs, his feet, you know, his movements. He is slow as fuck. But he was the most unstoppable force overall in the playoffs, the most dominant player. So this is what Barbara Sky had to say. Yeah, I think Bird is fast compared to Luka. I see Luka, he's going slow as hell and he'll get by you. But Bird, probably like a fucking sprinter compared to the way Luka plays. And, uh, I mean, Bird wasn't fast, really, but I know what he's talking about. He was faster than Luka. He was more co well coordinated in his footsteps than Luca, and um, he was six nine and a half. He was essentially a power forward playing small forward. He was essentially a power forward with ball handling ability uh, of a point forward. So yeah, I can see Bird playing in today's game, which is more of a shooting. Lee than it was when he played, right? Plus, I can make an argument that the NBA from the late 90s into 2010 was a more athletic league than it is today. It was more important because of the way the game was played prior to the rule changes in 2005, 2006. It was more important to be athletic than it is now. Because back then it was spacing wasn't as great, so it, it it was better for an offensive player to be able to have a quick first step and be able to beat the defense, get between the gaps. And it, it was more important for a guy to be able to beat their man. But today's league, the spacing is so great. So, yeah, a, bird, a, a guy as crafty as Bird with his high basketball intelligence, a great passer, a great rebounder, and now he's not really expected to play defense. So he's not exerting himself on the defensive end. 80, and, 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 you know, look, and Luka's, what, a 33% career three-point shooter versus Bird, who was a 38%. Luka, who's around a 40 5% career shooter versus Bird, who's about 50. 
Luka, who's a 73% free throw shooter versus Bird, who's about 89%. Yeah, I can see Bird doing very well in today's league. Essentially a 50-40-90 guy. Essentially a guy who could, on a bad team, you know, I don't know if he's going to have a front line like McHale and Parrish playing today because of the way the game is played. So I could definitely see him being on a, even on a good team that's built around him, I could see him averaging 32 points and nine rebounds and nine assists and shooting 50%, 40%, 90%. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just don't understand why people think that he would struggle is all I'm saying. But anyway, don't you guys think?